you're welcome to my channel in this video we shall be talking about cost of capital cost of capital is the last subtopic and the financing decision which is a subtopic in financial management cost of capital refers to that required return necessary to make a capital budgeting project such as building a new factory it's it refers to the cost of equity if the business is financed through equity or it refers to the cost of debt if the business is financed through debt the cost of equity is dividends it means that the return for equity is dividends and under equity we have things like ordinary shares or common stock then we have preference shares where we have both the redeemable and irredeemable preference shares then we have retained earnings or reserves and then the cost of debt the return to debt is interest and under debt we have loan and bonds bonds we have both the redeemable and irredeemable bonds when we are calculating cost of capital we need to first calculate for the specific cost of capital in order for us to know the cost of each source of capital the specific cost of each source of capital and let's start with cost of equity under equity we said we have ordinary shares or common stock so the formula for specific cost of ordinary shares we have d out of into brackets p minus f plus g where d is the dividends p is the market value f is the flotation costs and g is the growth rate but where the growth rate is zero and the no flotation costs the formula for cost of ordinary shares is d out of p plus g under equity we also have retained earnings and the formula for calculating specific cost of retained earnings is d out of p naught plus g where D is dividends, P0 is the market value, and G is the growth rate. Under equity, we have preference shares. Preference shares, we shall start with the irredeemable preference shares. And the formula is D out of P0, where D is dividends, and P0 is the market value. There is also redeemable preference shares and the formula for specific cost of redeemable preference shares is d plus 1 out of n into brackets f naught minus p naught out of a half into brackets f naught plus p naught where kp is the cost of redeemable preference shares and d is dividends n is period in years f naught is the face value and P0 is the market value. Then let's look at the cost of debt. Under cost of debt, we have bank loan. And bank loan, we have cost of debt. The formula is cost of debt equals to interest into brackets 1 minus T. Whereby KD is the cost of debt for a bank loan. And INT is the interest rate. And T is the tax rate. And under cost of debt, we also have a bond, and a bond is both irredeemable and redeemable. So we shall first look at the irredeemable bond, and the formula is KD equals to INT out of P0 times 1 minus T, where KD is the cost of debt for an irredeemable bond, and, and INT is the interest rate. P0 is the market value and T is the tax rate. Then for a redeemable bond, the formula is interest plus 1 out of N into brackets F0 minus P0 out of a half into brackets F0 plus P0 times 1 minus T, whereby KD is the cost of debt for the redeemable bond, INT is the interest rate, N is period in years, F0 is the face value or the nominal value, and P0 is the market value, T is the tax rate. When we are calculating for the cost of debt, we always 
multiply by 1 minus t we subtract the tax rate because debt is not taxed it has that shield advantage it's the reason why we always multiply by 1 minus t after calculating for the specific cost of capital the next thing we shall do is to calculate for the overall cost of capital so we shall draw a table to help us get the overall cost of capital we shall have five columns the column of sources the sources of capital like bonds ordinary shares preference shares reserves and then the total then we shall have the column of amount which shows the amount of each source of capital and then we shall have proportion proportion in order for us to get proportion we shall divide amount divided by the total in order for us to get the proportion for each source of capital we shall have the column for specific cost of capital it's what we been looking at then we shall have the column of the weighted average cost of capital the overall cost of capital that we are looking for and we get it by multiplying proportion times the specific cost of capital thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share with your friends and watch my next video we shall have one example about cost of capital